What's going on YouTube? Double Tech today. So we've got some very exciting news at last. The iPad 3, or as they call it, iPad 3rd generation, and as internally known, the iPad 2012 has been released by Apple today on the 7th of March. It was actually a 10 a.m. Uh, release. It was a start from 10 a.m. in the morning, and uh, across the world, people viewed it on live blogs. And actually, it's still running in the background, and they've actually going through some different software such as iPhoto, iMovie, and some really exciting news, really. In terms of the actual design, it's actually still the same, but everything inside and really go around the iPad 3 is the difference. So first of all, we've got, in terms of processor, we've got an A5X processor. So it wasn't a sex processor. A6 processor, excuse me, that uh, we originally uh, speculated. Uh, it is a quad core graphics processor, though, A5X, so that means we're probably going to expect an A6 in the iPhone 5. Anyway, uh, we'll keep moving forward. In terms of the display, it's definitely Retina, and we were waiting for this for a long time, and in fact, it's a 2048 uh, by I think 1024 uh, resolution, which is actually, uh, I think, a million times more pixels uh, than an HDTV. There's, I think, 294 pixels uh, per inch, which is a very impressive amount of pixels, and it's almost competing uh, with the iPhone uh, 4S and the iPod Touch fourth generation. Now, finally, going into the camera we've got now, at last, 1080p, uh, which was really expected, 1080p video recording, which was expected from the beginning in terms of the iPad 3 predictions. In terms of the still image quality, we've got a 5 megapixel, bleh, 5 megapixel camera. Uh, sorry, I'm quite in a rush because I actually need to go and sleep. It's quite late, actually, where I'm actually broadcasting this video. But anyways, 5 megapixel... 5 megapixel camera uh, with an uh, infrared sensor and all that lot. I'll definitely go into more details of these specific things in the next couple of days, but yeah, that's the, really the main things with the iPad. In terms of software, we've got the iOS 5.1. We haven't got Siri as expected. I was hoping the Siri would actually come. We've actually got voice di di uh, dictation, which is slightly different, and it supports uh, about four or five languages currently, so English, German, French, uh, Japanese, I think Spanish, and Italian too. Uh, in terms of 3G, 4G, well, we've got 4G now on uh, most major carriers in US, so that includes Verizon, uh, AT&T, Bell, Rogers, and I think Sprint. I'm not sure. I'll have to check that again. As I said, it's quite late, so I'm not, I really got all the notes and stuff. Uh, that's really the main things for the iPad. It will be available in the same prices from $499, $599, $699 for the Wi-Fi only models. And then you've got the $629, $729, $829 price Price breakdowns for the 4G plus Wi-Fi models now. They are now also known, as I said, as 4G. And obviously you can get really high speeds on uh, the networks. Um, so for you AT&T users that thought that it will only come on Verizon and Sprint, well now you've got it on AT&T as well. So that's some very good news for you guys. So I am actually going to pre-order this iPad as soon as the Apple Store decides to come back on because right now actually it is um, down and will be back up shortly as Apple always say. So if it's not tonight then hopefully it will be tomorrow early morning as soon as I wake up. I can't wait to pre-order it. It will be actually launched on the 16th of March and shipping to people uh, then. So anyway that's from Top of Tech. Don't forget to subscribe. Rate, comment below if you have any interesting responses or anything that you may want to, you know, think about the iPad 3 if you want to order one. Let me know if you're ordering what color, which model, and if you're selling your iPad 2 for how much. If you, uh, this is your first iPad 3, let me know.